Good happy Monday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, crash victim's son. You will never be forgiven. A dairy man who caused a deadly crash while drunk with, was sentenced to prison Monday. Sanders outlines plans for ISIS in New Hampshire trip. As he leads the Democratic polls in New Hampshire presidential candidate U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders visited the Granite State and outlined his plans to diminish ISIS. National Security Top Issue in Presidential Campaign As voters prepare to make their pick in the New Hampshire primary eight weeks from now, one of the top issues in the campaign will be national security and fight against terrorism. Police issue warning after string of wrong way drivers. State police are urging people to plan ahead before heading out to holiday parties after several drivers were spotted in recent days driving the wrong way on New Hampshire highways. Principal who had cancer helps teen through similar fight. A high school principal who survived cancer with the generosity of her student is now helping one of the teens through a similar illness. Presidential candidates in New Hampshire this week. Republican candidates for president will be in Las Vegas earlier this week for the CNN debate on Tuesday night, while three Democratic candidates will be in New Hampshire for a debate on Saturday at St. Elm's College. Update. New AOT radio ad hits Hassan on national security. U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte reacts campaign on Monday will launch a new radio ad that criticized her Democratic opponent, Governor Maggie Hassan, on terrorism and national security. Hassan's campaign has hit back at the Republicans. Officials, Hampstead fire sparked by fire pit on back deck. Fire officials announced Monday that a fire pit sparked a blaze at a Hampstead home on Sunday night. Man charged with conspiracy in connection with Manchester shooting. A second person has been arraigned in connection with a Manchester shooting. Man accused of trying to burn down mother's home appears in court. A man accused of trying to set his mother's house on fire appeared in court Monday. Four face charges in connection with sales of heroin cocaine. Local, state, and federal officials arrested four people last Thursday in connection with sales of heroin and cocaine in the Keene area. Missing Nashua teen found safe. A teen reported missing last week has, found, has been found safe, Nashua police announced Monday. Boston, Boston Company turns roadkill into fashion. Pamela Pollock's source for fashion is either theoretic or will make you shriek. Coast Guard calls off search for possible missing paddle border. 
The Coast Guard has suspended its search for a possible missing paddleboarder last seen near Rye Beach along New Hampshire's southeast coast. One driver charged following five vehicle crash on Everett Turnpike. Five vehicles were involved in a crash on the Everett Turnpike late Sunday night, police say. U.S.-led coalition hitting ISIS hard than ever, Obama says. As the war against the Islamic State spreads across the globe, President Obama says the U.S.-led coalition is hitting ISIS harder than ever and moving forward with its strategy with a great sense of agency. Trump would be healthiest individual ever elected president, his doctor says. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is, ex is in excellent health, so good in fact that his doctor said he can State unqualifiedly will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Secret U.S. police blocks agents from looking at social media of visa applicants, former officials say. The State Department today said that a Currently, things went wrong in visa background check for one of the Santa Barbara shooters. Comments that came in the wake of a report that said officials by police generally do not check social media postings of applicants due to civilian liberties concerns and therefore would not have seen protected evidence of truly fees, Michael's Recollection online. And that is it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.